everyone. Welcome to Out of Home Insider Daily. This one coming by way of referral. A shout out to Kyle James. Kyle and I have been at one screen since uh, back in the day, as the kids say. And Kyle sent this article over and said, hey, see if you, see if you think there's something there. And, uh, and, and Kyle has a thesis, and I don't know what it is. But once I started looking into this, I thought it was really interesting. So um, what is it specifically? Well, it's the Netflix news. Obviously, Netflix has been moving to uh, this ad uh, supported model, and we're not really sure what it's all going to look like. And it's very opaque, uh, but supposed to be later this year. So we'll see. July 13th, so just three days ago, Netflix names Microsoft as partner for new consumer subscription plan. Marketers looking to Microsoft for their advertising needs will have access to the Netflix audience and premium connected TV inventory. All ads served on Netflix will be exclusively available through the Microsoft platform. Today's announcement also endorses Microsoft's approach to privacy, which is built on protecting customers information. I don't know. Super villain Bill Gates. That freaks me out a little bit, but it's a brilliant play. And I think that what we're seeing kind of develop here has been, uh, you know, happening in the wings, but it's maturing a little bit. And that's the consolidation and vertical integration of premium inventory. The Netflix Microsoft connection makes a ton of sense um, because just a couple uh, of years ago, not even a couple of years ago, it's just a year ago, I suppose, a year and a half ago, Microsoft acquiring Xander to accelerate delivery of digital advertising and retail media solutions. Xander, uh, best known as a connected TV platform. From that press release, uh, December 21st, 2021, this is Microsoft acquiring Xander. One of the bullet points here, with Xander, Microsoft can accelerate the delivery of digital advertising solutions for the open web by combining Microsoft's audience understanding technology and global advertising customer base with Xander's large-scale data-driven platforms for advertising. These include... Strengthened monetization for publishers, Netflix, through larger first-party data access and a full-funnel marketing offering with Xander Monetize. Netflix is down 68% on the year. The monetization of that Netflix audience is obviously going to be a really important growth lever for Netflix over the next 12 to 18 months, especially as consumer confidence waning, uh, producer price index up once again, consecutive months. So Netflix is going to need to be able to monetize the audience. It does have to the maximum of its ability. So that's interesting just in and and of itself. Um, Another bullet bullet point here, increased advertiser and publisher value with Microsoft's global native ad buying solution. Um, Also, native ad buying, come on, we're the OGs of native everything. The the Microsoft audience network uh, by helping improve ad performance while providing access to global supply. So this makes a ton of sense. What does it have to do with out of home? Well, on April 27, 2022, HiveStack, the world's largest independent programmatic digital out of home ad tech company, announced a strategic global collaboration with Xander, a data-enabled technology platform powering a global marketplace for premium advertising. You see it now. We've got a digital SSP DSP hive stack. We've got Xander. We've got Netflix. That's a full funnel uh, Netflix marketing option that you're going to have available probably uh, not, not too distant future. What's interesting about that is that direct TV and Yahoo, Yahoo obviously rolling out their full funnel DSP DirecTV and Yahoo just recently inking a deal, June 20th, 2022. DirecTV taps Yahoo Unified Ad Tech to unlock advanced TV opportunities. Yahoo's omni-channel DSP gives advertisers access to powerful, qualified data sets and reaches consumers across all channels, including mobile, desktop, video, native, addressable TV, CTV, digital out of home, and audio. DirecTV advertising inventory will be available in the Yahoo DSP 
for Q4 2022 campaign. So you see all of the timing kind of aligning. It's that consolidation of premium inventory, which is very reminiscent of double click, double click triggering uh, Google's very rapid growth over the last 12, 13 years or so. So a lot of interesting pieces on the table right now that are moving around. Verizon, obviously they have their full funnel digital out of home ad suite connecting it down very deterministically. The connection there for me that I thought was interesting, Verizon and Catalina um, had previously connected and then Catalina and Volta obviously getting together so you can see some of the connective tissue coming together uh, from the data side, the media side, telecom side. It's it's really interesting. T-Mobile, of course, acquiring Play Octopus uh, just earlier this year. So then over to Twitter, Scott Brinker, who, if you don't know Scott, he's the VP of Platform Ecosystem at HubSpot. He's Chief Martech on Twitter. And he tweeted out, I guess it was earlier, oh, just earlier today, uh, pretty compelling evidence that in SaaS, software as a service, even for startups, but especially for scale-ups, integration ecosystems are a core to product go to market. So what does that mean? Integration ecosystems, uh, better known as platforms. What is a platform? A platform is as a business model. This from uh, Pandium, the the study that Scott references in the tweet from the study from, from Pandium. As a business model, a platform model refers to a business that is creating value by enabling exchange between groups, usually defined as consumers and producers. Uh, like Amazon e-commerce, the vast majority of SaaS companies who become platforms continue to sell their core products to customers, the consumers, while also facilitating tech partners, producers to provide customers with apps and extensions, as well as agency and solution partners providing customers with services. All of this to say there are a lot of pieces coming together with all of those pieces coming together, additional uh, fragmentation. So ultimately, the opportunity to create the platform that connects the entire ecosystem becomes even greater. And that's what we're trying to try to do at one screen. So a lot of exciting tech that we're going to be bringing online here in the next couple of months. I thought that all of this stuff kind of laid out like one of those cork boards in a uh, in an episode of The Wire and hopefully found it at least entertaining. But I think that there's something there, definitely something to pay attention to as a consolidation continues to take place. That's it for today. We'll maybe be back tomorrow, but if not, definitely Monday. Until next time, we'll see you.